The 1960s were a transformative era for food, especially at social gatherings. The post-war boom brought optimism and a desire to celebrate, often reflected in the foods served at parties. Many of these iconic dishes, though beloved at the time, have since faded into obscurity. Let's explore some of these once popular party foods and why we left them behind. Number one, pigs in a blanket. Pigs in a blanket are a classic appetizer featuring small sausages or hot dogs wrapped in dough and baked until golden. This dish has a rich history with variations appearing in different cultures. In the United States, the term typically refers to hot dogs wrapped in croissant dough, a concept popularized in the 1960s. The introduction of Pillsbury's crescent rolls made preparation more accessible, contributing to their widespread popularity. The origin of the name pigs in a blanket is not definitively documented, but it likely stems from the playful imagery of sausages, pigs being enveloped in dough, a blanket. This whimsical name combined with the dish's simplicity and flavor has cemented its place in American culinary tradition. Variations of pigs in a blanket are found worldwide. In the United Kingdom, pigs in blankets refer to small sausages wrapped in bacon, commonly served during Christmas dinner. In Denmark, a similar concept exists with pilsehorn, where sausages are wrapped in bread dough. These international adaptations highlight the universal appeal of combining savory meats with dough or pastry. The versatility of pigs in a blanket allows for numerous adaptations. Cheese can be added by placing a slice of cheese on the dough before wrapping the sausage, resulting in a gooey, flavorful center. For a spicy twist, jalapenos or spicy sausages can be used. Some recipes incorporate herbs or spices into the dough to enhance flavor, serving them with various dipping sauces, such as mustard, ketchup, or barbecue sauce, adds another layer of customization. Despite their enduring popularity, pigs in a blanket have evolved over time. Modern recipes often emphasize healthier ingredients such as turkey or chicken sausages and whole grain dough, reflecting contemporary dietary preferences. However, the classic version remains a beloved staple at gatherings, appreciated for its nostalgic value and comforting taste. Number two, fondue. Fondue, originating from the French word fondry, meaning to melt, is a Swiss culinary tradition that gained international prominence in the mid-20th century. This communal dish involves melting cheese, typically a blend of Gruyere and Emmental, with white wine and garlic in a pot called a caquelon. Diners dip pieces of bread into the melted mixture using long forks, fostering a shared dining experience. The concept of fondue dates back to at least the late 17th century, with early recipes combining cheese and wine. However, it was in the 1930s that the Swiss Cheese Union promoted fondue as a national dish to boost cheese consumption. This campaign successfully popularized fondue within Switzerland and eventually abroad. In the 1960s and 1970s, fondue became a fashionable party food in the United States, symbolizing sophistication and communal dining. The introduction of fondue sets made it accessible for home entertaining, leading to its widespread adoption during social gatherings. Beyond the traditional cheese fondue, variations emerged, including meat fondues like fondue bourguignon, where diners cook pieces of meat in hot oil, and chocolate fondue, featuring fruits and pastries dipped into melted chocolate. These adaptations expanded fondue's appeal, catering to diverse tastes and occasions, Despite its decline in popularity in subsequent decades, fondue has experienced a resurgence in recent years, appreciated for its nostalgic charm and the interactive dining experience it offers. Modern interpretations often incorporate diverse ingredients and flavors, reflecting contemporary culinary trends while honoring its rich heritage. Today, fondue remains a beloved dish in various cultures celebrated for bringing people together over a shared pot of melted delight. Number three, Jell-O salads. Jell-O salads were a defining feature of American mid-century cuisine, offering a vibrant blend of flavors and textures that appealed to both the eye and the palate. 
originating from the widespread availability of powdered gelatin in the late 19th century. These salads quickly gained popularity as a versatile and innovative way to present both sweet and savory dishes. In the early 20th century, recipes such as the Perfection Salad, combining shredded vegetables with a tangy gelatin base, set the stage for what would become a culinary phenomenon. The 1950s and 1960s were the golden age of jello salads. This period embraced convenience and creativity in the kitchen, and jello was marketed as an easy to use ingredient that could transform basic pantry staples into show stopping creations. Sweet versions typically featured a base of flavored gelatin combined with canned fruits, whipped toppings, and marshmallows layered into colorful molds. Savory adaptations were equally popular, incorporating ingredients like chopped celery, olives, cream cheese, and even seafood set in unflavored gelatin to create a unique texture and presentation. Jello salads were more than just food. They were a symbol of hospitality and ingenuity. Hosts often competed to produce the most elaborate and eye-catching molds, ranging from tiered towers to intricately shaped flowers. These dishes also catered to the era's fascination with science and modernity, as their jiggly consistency and translucent appearance evoked a sense of novelty and innovation. However, the decline of jello salads in the late 20th century coincided with a growing preference for fresh, natural ingredients and less processed foods. As culinary trends shifted toward minimalist presentations and international cuisines, the elaborate, sugary, and sometimes peculiar combinations of jello salads fell out of favor. Critics began to view them as overly artificial and a relic of an outdated food culture. Despite this decline, jello salads have experienced a resurgence among retro food enthusiasts and chefs seeking to reimagine classic dishes. Modern interpretations focus on higher quality ingredients, such as fresh fruits, organic gelatin, and artisanal toppings while preserving the nostalgic aesthetic that made these salads iconic. They have also found a niche in themed events and holiday gatherings, where their playful presentation and historical roots offer a nostalgic nod to America's culinary past. Number four, chicken a la king. Chicken a la king is a rich and versatile dish that gained fame for its luxurious yet approachable flavor. It features tender pieces of chicken enveloped in a creamy sauce, often enriched with mushrooms, bell peppers, and pimentos. The addition of sherry or white wine enhances its depth, creating a balanced flavor profile that complements its smooth texture. Traditionally served over toast points, rice, noodles, or even puff pastry shells, the dish adapts to various dining contexts, from casual family meals to elegant gatherings. The exact origins of Chicken a la King are debated. Some credit chef George Greenwald of the Brighton Beach Hotel in New York, who purportedly created it in the late 19th century for patrons E. Clark King II and his wife. Others believe it originated in Philadelphia at the Bellevue Hotel, where chef William King is said to have introduced the recipe in the 1890s. Regardless of its beginnings, the dish became a culinary sensation particularly in the United States. By the mid-20th century, Chicken a la King was a staple in American households and a favorite on restaurant menus. Its creamy, hearty appeal made it an ideal choice for dinner parties and special occasions. It was often served in volovant pastry shells or alongside steamed vegetables for an upscale presentation. Variations flourished, incorporating ingredients such as peas, carrots, and different herbs to regionalize the dish or cater to personal preferences. Despite its popularity in the 1950s and 1960s, the dish's prominence waned as lighter, less cream-heavy meals gained traction. However, it remains a nostalgic favorite, celebrated for its comforting flavor and the memories it evokes of mid-century dining culture. Modern interpretations of chicken a la king often use healthier ingredients, such as reduced fat cream or leaner cuts of chicken, while retaining its signature richness and warmth. It continues to be a testament to the creativity and adaptability of classic American cuisine. Number five, rumaki. 
Rumaki is a classic appetizer that emerged as part of the mid-20th century fascination with Polynesian-inspired cuisine. Its origins are attributed to the tiki culture, popularized in the 1940s and 1950s by restaurants like Trader Vic's and Don the Beachcomber. Traditionally, rumaki consists of a combination of chicken livers and water chestnuts wrapped in bacon. The dish is marinated in a savory sweet blend of soy sauce, ginger, and brown sugar before being baked or broiled until the bacon crisps. The hallmark of rumaki lies in its texture. The crunch of the water chestnuts contrasts beautifully with the tender chicken liver, while the bacon provides a smoky, savory element that ties everything together. This interplay of textures and flavors made it a favorite at cocktail parties and festive gatherings during its heyday. Rumaki became a symbol of sophisticated entertaining, often served on toothpicks for easy handling. Variations emerged to cater to different tastes, replacing chicken livers with scallops or shrimp for a seafood twist. Some recipes incorporated pineapple for a tropical flair, enhancing its pseudo-Polynesian identity. Although its popularity waned with the decline of tiki culture, rumaki has seen a revival as a nostalgic appetizer. Modern adaptations often tweak the recipe to suit contemporary preferences, such as using turkey bacon or adding a spicy glaze for extra kick. This dish remains a testament to the creativity and cultural fusion of mid-century American cuisine. Number six, ambrosia salad. Ambrosia salad is a vintage dessert that blends sweet and creamy ingredients to create a dish deeply rooted in Southern American tradition. Known for its distinct tropical flair, it typically features a mixture of canned pineapple chunks, mandarin orange slices, and shredded coconut. Miniature marshmallows add a soft texture, while the dressing can vary from whipped cream and sour cream to a combination of cream cheese and yogurt, depending on regional or family preferences. The dish first gained popularity in the late 19th century, named after the mythical food of the gods, ambrosia, symbolizing its perceived decadence. By the mid-20th century, ambrosia salad had become a hallmark of potlucks, church gatherings, and holiday feasts. The simplicity of its preparation combined with its vibrant presentation made it an attractive choice for hosts. Modern variations often include maraschino cherries for a pop of color, chopped nuts like pecans for crunch, or additional fruits like bananas, strawberries, and peeled grapes. Some recipes even replace traditional sweeteners with honey or vanilla extract to cater to contemporary tastes. Ambrosia salad continues to evoke nostalgia, offering a sweet reminder of simpler times while remaining adaptable to modern culinary trends. Its enduring appeal lies in its versatility and the comforting familiarity of its flavors. Number seven, shrimp cocktail. Shrimp cocktail is a timeless appetizer that has been synonymous with elegance and sophistication for over a century. The dish became widely popular in the early 20th century with its origins often linked to fine dining establishments. Its presentation in a stemmed cocktail glass, reminiscent of alcoholic cocktails, added a glamorous appeal, especially during the Prohibition era when creative non-alcoholic alternatives became fashionable. The preparation of shrimp cocktail is straightforward yet precise. High quality shrimp are key to its success. Typically, shrimp are boiled or steamed with aromatics such as lemon, garlic, and bay leaves to infuse flavor. They are then quickly chilled to maintain their firm texture and served cold, ensuring a fresh and crisp bite. The cocktail sauce, a tangy mix of ketchup and horseradish, is the defining feature, providing a balance of sweetness, acidity, and heat. Variations of the sauce may include Worcestershire sauce, lemon juice, hot sauce, or even a splash of vodka for a modern twist. Shrimp cocktail has regional adaptations worldwide. In Mexico, cocktail de camarones includes additional ingredients like avocado, cucumber, and cilantro, served in a tomato-based sauce. In Mediterranean cuisines, the shrimp might be marinated in olive oil and lemon before serving. These variations showcase the versatility of this iconic dish. The dish's popularity peaked in the mid-20th century, often appearing as a starter at upscale dinner parties, weddings, and holiday gatherings. 
Its appeal lay in its simplicity, allowing hosts to prepare it ahead of time while still presenting a refined and visually appealing dish. The stemmed glass presentation became a hallmark of shrimp cocktail, symbolizing luxury and attention to detail. In modern times, shrimp cocktail remains a favorite, though it has adapted to contemporary culinary trends. Sustainable sourcing of shrimp has become a priority, with many chefs opting for wild-caught or responsibly farmed shrimp. Additionally, creative presentations, such as serving the shrimp in hollowed-out ice bowls or pairing them with spicy remoulades and Asian-inspired sauces, have reinvigorated the classic recipe. Number 8. Tunnel of Fudge Cake the Tunnel of Fudge Cake emerged as a culinary sensation in the mid-1960s, captivating home bakers with its unique, gooey center. This innovative dessert gained widespread attention after Ella Rita Helfrich's recipe secured second place in the 1966 Pillsbury Bake Off contest. The cake's distinctive feature, a rich, fudgy tunnel running through its center, was achieved using Pillsbury's double Dutch fudge frosting mix, which, when combined with the batter, created the signature molten core during baking. This recipe not only popularized the boont pan, but also significantly boosted its sales, as bakers sought to replicate the cake's characteristic shape and texture. However, when Pillsbury discontinued the frosting mix, enthusiasts faced challenges in recreating the original recipe. In response to persistent demand, Pillsbury developed an alternative version that substituted the frosting mix with a combination of cocoa powder and powdered sugar, aiming to replicate the original's indulgent center. Despite these adaptations, the Tunnel of Fudge Cake remains a nostalgic favorite, celebrated for its decadent flavor and its role in mid-20th century American baking history. Number 9. Onion Soup Dip Onion soup dip, commonly known as French onion dip, originated in the 1950s when a California homemaker combined sour cream with Lipton's dehydrated onion soup mix, creating a simple yet flavorful party staple. This innovation quickly gained popularity, leading Lipton to feature the recipe on their packaging, further cementing its status in American cuisine. The dip's appeal lies in its simplicity and versatility. Traditionally made by blending a packet of onion soup mix with sour cream, it offers a savory flavor profile that pairs well with various accompaniments. Over time, variations have emerged, incorporating ingredients like mayonnaise for added creaminess, or substituting Greek yogurt for a healthier twist. Some recipes enhance the flavor by adding caramelized onions, fresh herbs, or spices, elevating the dip beyond its original form. Despite its evolution, onion soup dip remains a beloved classic, often featured at gatherings and celebrations, reflecting its enduring place in American culinary traditions. Number 10, stuffed cherry tomatoes. Stuffed cherry tomatoes are a delightful appetizer that combines the natural sweetness of cherry tomatoes with a variety of flavorful fillings. These bite-sized treats are not only visually appealing, but also versatile, making them suitable for numerous occasions. The process begins by selecting ripe, firm cherry tomatoes. After washing, a small slice is cut off the top of each tomato, and the interior pulp is carefully scooped out, creating a cavity for the filling. This preparation ensures that the tomatoes can hold the stuffing without becoming overly moist. Fillings for stuffed cherry tomatoes are diverse, catering to various tastes and dietary preferences. A classic choice is a mixture of cream cheese, fresh herbs like dill or basil, and minced garlic, resulting in a creamy and aromatic filling. Alternatively, a combination of feta cheese, finely chopped red onion, olive oil, red wine vinegar, and dried oregano offers a tangy and savory option. For those seeking a more robust flavor, a blend of mozzarella cheese, basil, and a touch of balsamic vinegar provides a rich and satisfying taste. To assemble, the prepared filling is spooned or piped into each hollowed tomato. Chilling the stuffed tomatoes before serving allows the flavors to meld and the filling to set, enhancing the overall experience. Garnishing with fresh herbs or a drizzle of olive oil can add an extra layer of flavor and visual appeal. These appetizers are not only delicious, but also offer nutritional benefits.
Cherry tomatoes are rich in vitamins A and C, potassium, and antioxidants, contributing to a healthy diet. The fillings, depending on the ingredients used, can provide protein and healthy fats, making stuffed cherry tomatoes a balanced and wholesome choice.